Hello and welcome back. So let's collect all the information that we need. So here I'm going to comment this so that um, we know what's going on, collect image data, and then, um, so that's for the image. And at this point, let's just do collecting of data and we can do the error correction later. So I'll put this as part of error co correction or validation. So I'm going to save that. So that was the image. In fact, let me just duplicate this. So let's look at what we have here. We have, uh, these are the columns that we have. First name, last name, about company. Hmm. So first name. You know what, this is gonna take a long time. Hmm. Let's do it like real coders, shall we? So what we're going to do instead is this. I'm going to look at the container of this so that we can use a loop instead. Let's be smart about this. So I want to look for, these are buttons, so this is good, which means these others are inputs. And these inputs have names which correspond to the actual key in the database, which is nice. So we can grab all the inputs in this case. So let me see the container that contains all of them so we don't have to physically type them. And let me see, this one just ends there. Then we have this input image. Okay. Mm, it does have a name of image. That's cool. Uh, what other input do we have? Okay, so these are the only inputs. The only one we don't want is this one. Uh, image. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, so they're inside the form. Let me check that out just to make sure. Yes, make sure there's no other. Okay, so this is going to work pretty cool. So let's grab the form itself. Uh, this is a different form. I want this particular form here. Where is this? This one right here. So I can give it a class name to be specific, or I can just look at the button that I clicked and tell it to grab the form that it belongs to. Uh, so in this case, this is the save button. So if I grab this item and say dot form, uh, things will work as intended. So let me show you this. So I'm going to come here let me put the return key, so the return uh, thingy here, so it doesn't go further than this, just for experimentation. Here I will grab E as an event, so, so that I can manipulate things a bit further. So I'm going to add event on the thing here, like that, so that it sends the event that has happened, which is a click event. Now the click event will contain some cool stuff in there. So let me show you, like, uh, if we do a console.log, of e dot current target or you can say e dot target which means the item that was clicked but i like to use current target just to be sure it's actually the thing that had um that had the event listener unlike a bubble event so let's let's see what that contains in there so i'm going to re refresh and inspect go to the console and then click save so you see it's a button. This is the button that was clicked. So that's what e dot target or current target contains. Now, if you look closely here, let's zoom in a little bit. Now, if you look closely at this button, there's somewhere it's going to have a form. You see this form here? This is the form that contains this button. So we can grab it by just saying button dot form here. And as you can see inside this form, there are children here of inputs. Every conceivable input here that uh, exists there is there. We need all of these except the buttons. So we need the text area. We need all the other inputs. 
except also the one for image. Where is that one? This one right here. So these are the things we need to filter out. Oh, actually, we do need the image one. We just don't need the buttons. Okay. So how do we tell? Uh, we can tell by reading the tag name. So this name of the element is called a tag name. So what we will do is grab the form and grab the kids of that form. So great. So what we'll do is this. We'll say um, var form is equal to okay e dot current target dot form. Okay, great. Now we have a form. And then we just want to loop through the form and add items to an object. Okay, so I'm going to do a for loop. Uh, let's see here if we can do a for key mm, in form. Let's see if this will work out. And then let's do console.log. And let's do key. I just want to see if the loop will function. Or well, let's do this form, and then key there, so that we get the actual items in the in there. So refresh. Let's do this. Go down and click save. Okay. So as you can see, it showed me the actual items. It looked through them, and uh, which is nice. Now if oh okay so it actually pasted the information down here oh no actually it went and got more than i expected so this is not good so instead what we would do is let's do a for loop instead this this one won't do it's getting too much information so let's do a for loop instead and use form dot children because children will be just the elements so here I'm doing, going to do a console.log, okay, and then get this one there. All right, so let's see what that will show us. This is too much information. So down, down, and let's save. Ah, even better now. So now at least we have only um, a div. Here it's complaining about the return key, but we don't care. Okay, so we have a div, 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 and then progress. Wait, but where are the inputs? This is uh, not cool at all. Hmm. And this one? Ah, right. Okay, this is worse than I thought. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say var inputs is equal to, let's do a query selector instead. We're just going to say form dot query selector so that it gets only what we want and we'll say query selector or and then tell it we want um, inputs anything with input and also anything with um, uh, text area okay like that so a text area and an input then we can do a console.log of the inputs we got so that we are sure we got the right stuff fingers crossed refresh and save okay so now we have a node list of length zero so it didn't give us anything so maybe i should have put a comma i'm not sure how this should work here let me try just input by itself i think i'm missing um Okay, so the 13 items now and all the inputs. I'm just missing the text area here. So that's not cool. Um, I'm not sure how this is done. Let's see if I put a comma. I can always go to Google and find out because I never really uh, collect things. Oh, it actually worked. Very nice. So you see now we have a text area, we have inputs, text area, and more inputs. So everything is gathered here so that we don't have to type them one by one. And then what we can do now is put these guys inside a um, uh, the thingy here. So I'll do a for loop like this to loop through 
inputs okay inputs dot length okay so each one of these is an item so i just need to add it to an object so this is the object we are going to send here so i'm just going to create an empty object and say obj is equal to empty object like that and then i will say something like obj dot um let me use the key here so what will be the key so var key of this current input will be equal to the input dot its name okay so we're getting the keys from the names of the input so that's the key we're going to use to add to the object and then the object dot key now if we do this then it's going to save it as key so instead we will use the curly brackets like that and say object key is equal to inputs dot value so hopefully this is uh understood what we're doing we're grabbing a key something to use as a key and then we add object and add a key and then to that key we add the value so let me show you the result of this so console.log and let's look at what obj has at the end of the day so it should have the keys and the values of every input in there the only problem is one input doesn't have a value and that one is the one with uh, uh, the type of file so but let's see what it will have anyway it will have nothing i guess so let me just save and this is what we get so we get an object with all these items in there as you can see here let me zoom in so you can see this clearly so we have all this this about and its content address and its content company you see email uh, image is empty okay very nice so this saves us from having to type every input and setting it to a value manually so this is more user uh what's this we can transfer this to another form and do exactly the same thing without having to type much okay so now we have an object that we can actually send here the only thing we need to do now is to make sure that these inputs are not empty so we can have um uh actually no no need we can just put required on which ones are required that's it so with all that done uh, we can send this object over it's just that the image it's better to have this issue here done so what we would do is um, let's see key copy so let's do something else if the key is image so we'll say if key is equal to image which means this is an image thingy we'll do something else so let me do that and then else we will put the value but if the key is image then this is going to be the input dot files dot zero like that okay but it's possible that this will be undefined because maybe the file uh, does not exist so we need to check if a file exists at all and so um, how do we fix this um wait a minute we need to check this which we did right there was it here or was it there oh this is the one right here okay uh -huh. so let me copy this and put it here hmm okay so if type of um hmm, this is going to be weird uh yes this is input i dot files is equal to object which means it exists then only then should we add it okay so then we add it 
but we need to know if an image was added actually so let's just say var image added is equal to false and then if we actually add the image here let's set it to true okay so that way when we come to validate down here we actually know that it exists so uh, here i'm going to say validate image okay so this is irrelevant this too is irrelevant all right so now because we have the image in the object if it exists so we're just going to see if image was added then uh, we will do this here so i'm going to say if image added like that and let's put all of this down here like so and push this inward and then if everything went well we'll remove this and just send the object like that okay progress bar remains there so it's optional so if the image was added then it's good but we don't have this thing so instead we have obj uh, let me change that here we have obj image uh-huh and then let me remove that dot files oh wait wait sorry we added the file itself so we don't have dot files anymore we just have it directly in there so it's not dot files anymore it's just object image dot name dot split okay so let's test this uh, real quickly so i'm going to uh, refresh and then i will now this has a pot potential of actually running here because it will recognize this so what i would do is i'm just going to put and false to make sure that uh, this never actually runs the submit in the admin section because it's possible we could save something without wanting to I just want to see if the validation works so here at the this point i'm going to click save okay upload complete refreshed good let's try a wrong uh, file type click okay so we have an error let's see what that error is it says image is not defined in the save profile function so if i click here it might show me where the issue is so it's here image is undefined hmm is it let's go up here ah right 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 so image was added object key uh, oh this is not text wait 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 yeah this is my bad i should do dot image like this let's put a dot there like that yeah because if i put the brackets then i should put a variable there instead okay i think this time it will notify us open that and let's hit save okay only these file types are allowed in profile image good so it has now managed to recognize that we are not doing something well so if i add an actual image this time upload complete okay good so everything is working let's just add required on these names uh, where we something where where the inputs are required let's put required so the ones that we need are first name last name and uh, email that's really it so let's go to those there's email here let's put required in the input at the end so that at least javascript will warn the user that we need this and before they submit but even if they bypass this no problem uh, php will capture that but this is just to give them advanced warning okay so first name required last name everything good all righty then very nice now let's do the actual posting because we have all the data that we need it's being sent let's capture it on the other PHP side and send back errors if any.